Typhoid fever. What is typhoid fever? Typhoid fever is disease associated with fever that is caused by the bacteria. These bacteria are deposited in food or water by a human carrier and are then spread to other people in the area. The incidence of typhoid fever in the United States has decreased since the early 1900s. Today, in the United States less than 400 cases are reported and these cases are mostly in people who have recently traveled to Mexico and South America, whereas India, Pakistan, and Egypt are known as high-risk areas for this disease. Whereas typhoid fever affects more than 21 million people annually, with about 200,000 people dying from the disease worldwide. How do people get typhoid fever? Typhoid fever is contracted by drinking or eating the contaminated food or water. People with this disease can contaminate the surrounding water supply through stool, which contains a high concentration of the bacteria. The bacteria can survive four weeks in water or dried sewage. About 3 to 5 percent of people become carriers of the bacteria after the acute illness. These people may become long-term carriers of the bacteria even though they have no symptoms and thus become the source of new outbreaks of typhoid fever. Signs and Symptoms of Typhoid Fever Persons with typhoid fever usually have a constant fever as high as 103 to 100 for Fahrenheit. They may also feel weirdness, have stomach pains, headache, or loss of appetite. Whereas in some cases, patients of typhoid have a rash of flat, rose-colored spots. The only trustable way to know for sure if an illness is typhoid fever or not, is to have samples of stool or blood for test. Treatment After the diagnose, see a doctor immediately. In spite of that that your symptoms seem to go away, but you may still be carrying bacteria of the disease. If so, the illness could return, or you could pass the disease to other people. For the treatment of typhoid fever, it is important to do the following. Keep taking the prescribed antibiotics for as long as your doctor has asked you to take them. Wash your hands with soap and water after using the bathroom. Have your doctor perform a series of stool cultures to ensure that you have no bacteria remained in your body.